In this solve along video, we'll explore how, how to, to factor, factor by, by grouping, grouping in various polynomial expressions so that you can go, go beyond, beyond plus ultra in your exams. The techniques used for factoring polynomials are pretty varied, and factoring polynomials by grouping is one level above the GCF method, so if you have no clue what it is about or you haven't seen that video yet, then be sure to click the I button, because it is absolutely essential for this solve along video. Without that knowledge, I can pretty much guarantee that you'll be making these facial expressions watching any video about how to factor by grouping. Factoring by grouping is often used for polynomials containing four terms and is somewhat like an intermediary technique before you proceed to factoring general quadratic trinomials. This can be quite tricky at times, so I'd like you to think of it as one of your smartphone or desktop puzzle games. And on we go! There will be a 3 second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video to solve it on your own first. And then, continue playing the video to see, see if, you're if you're correct. correct. Alright, let's learn how, how to, to factor, factor by, by grouping, grouping in various polynomial expressions. Group two pairs of terms and work on them separately. The pairs of terms are shown using the orange and red boxes. Factor out the greatest common factor from each pair of terms. These GCFs are 2b and 5. Factor out the common binomial factor, which is w minus 3v. You can then combine the GCFs from each pair of terms so that they form another binomial factor, which is 2b plus 5. And the final, final answer, answer is 2b plus 5 times w minus 3v. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown in this video. Group two pairs of terms and work on them separately. The pairs of terms are shown using the orange and red boxes. Factor out the greatest common factor from each pair of terms. These GCFs are C and 2. Factor out the common binomial factor which is 7D minus C. You can then combine the GCFs from each pair of terms so that they form another binomial factor which is C plus 2. And the final, final answer, answer is C plus 2 times 7D minus C. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown in this video. By the way, please support Teach Me Animated Math by, by liking, liking this, this video. video. And if you're new to our channel, then click, click the, the subscribe, subscribe button, button and hit, hit that, that bell, bell icon. icon so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. Okay, let's continue. Group two pairs of terms and work on them separately. The pairs of terms are shown using the orange and red boxes. Factor out the greatest common factor from each pair of terms. These GCFs are one and a. Now here's the interesting thing. There is no common binomial factor in this pairing of terms. Sometimes, there is an element of trial and error when you factor by grouping. And in this current example, you should try rearranging the terms and group two pairs of terms again. Factor out the GCF again from each pair of terms. These are A and negative B. Notice that you now have a common binomial factor, which is a plus 3. This is thanks to the rearranging we did earlier. 
the other binomial factor is a minus b. And the final, final answer, answer is a plus 3 times a minus b. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown in this video. Group two pairs of terms and work on them separately. The pairs of terms are shown using the orange and red boxes. Factor out the greatest common factor from each pair of terms. These GCFs are x and negative 2. Just like the previous problem, there is no common binomial factor again. So, rearrange the terms and group two pairs of terms again. Factor out the GCF again from each pair of terms. These are y and negative 2x. There is now a common binomial factor which is x minus 4. You see, the more you practice factoring by grouping, the faster you can analyze which grouping is correct. The other binomial factor is y minus 2x. And the final, final answer, answer is x minus 4 times y minus 2x. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown in this video. Group two pairs of terms and work on them separately. The pairs of terms are shown using the orange and red boxes. Factor out the greatest common factor from each pair of terms. These GCFs are 2a and 5. Factor out the common binomial factor which is 4x plus 9. You can then combine the GCFs from each pair of terms so that they form another binomial factor which is 2a plus 5. And the final, final answer, answer is 2a plus 5 times 4x plus 9. Don't forget to check your answer by expanding it using polynomial multiplication as shown in this video. And here is the answer key for this worksheet. I hope you learned how, how to, to factor, factor by, by grouping, grouping in various polynomial expressions. Just practice, 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 practice factoring by grouping until it becomes second nature to you. And don't be afraid to make mistakes since correcting them is part of your learning process. Our next solve along worksheet video is about factoring perfect square trinomials. This factoring technique is the opposite of expanding perfect squares that we tackled in two of our solve along videos. So don't worry because this one is pretty simple and it will have step-by-step -step solutions that are very easy to follow. So be, be sure, sure to subscribe, subscribe to teach me animated math. And don't miss out. See you next time.